Hello, riders and not. Today on the vlog, I'm at Margate, a Victorian holiday place. And I'm going to this place, the Dreamland, built in the 1880s. Today, it has, can you hear, can you see them? It has all the choppers coming and a chopper show called 101. And you can say this is girl's bike. <laughs> um, I'm Elle. I'm from Switzerland. This is my bike. Have you built it? Yes. I didn't build it by myself, by the way. I had a, I had a friend help me out. His name's Kriggle. 
I don't know, I really love the whole um, Japanese chopper scene and this is why I wanted to get a pan head. I've always loved this stuff, it's super cool. I love seeing those tiny Japanese chicks on their fucking knuckleheads and everything. And yeah, this is where I got the inspiration for my bike. The whole very skinny look with the high pegs and everything. Kickstarter. Yes, absolutely. Do you kickstart it? Yeah, do. It's a bit of an effort for me, but... Do you ride it a lot? Not this one. I haven't had time. I literally just finished it two weeks before coming here. Last week, I did a trip with the, with the Sportster in Sweden. So I haven't had time to ride it, unfortunately. But so next year, definitely, it'll be a bit different. How you doing? You alright? Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. It's good to be here. Good to see everyone. How are you not hangover like everyone else? I am pretty hungover. That's oh. why I've got the glasses on. If you want to see these eyes, yeah, this, it's not great at the minute. This is your build? This is my bike, yeah. Can you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, my name's Nick Morley uh, from North London. Um, yeah, it's about it, really. And you build choppers? Well, I put this one together. I wouldn't say I did much of the fabrication or anything, but yeah, we put it together. It's still, it still hasn't fallen apart yet. I bought my first Harley uh, probably around 15 years ago. Um, it was a Sportster. Uh, I bought it brand new uh, and just started modifying it, but then started going to some of the shows. Um, I just love the look of the old bikes, you know, so even, even the Sportster that I built, it was sort of in that style. Um, and then, yeah, finally got around to getting the shovel. Um, I took it to the hookup pretty stock. Um, it played up like it just wouldn't start all the time. So we ended up stripping it, taking it apart. I've kept, basically I've just kept the front, uh, the frame and the engine, everything else is, everything else is uh, custom on it. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty reliable to be fair. I go everywhere on it, so. That was my next question. Uh, how far do you go? Do you yeah, we go everywhere? I mean, obviously I'm from London, but um, we knock about with all these Welsh boys. So you know, Wales is beautiful. So we get up there a couple of times a year on it, and uh, yeah, it's so far it's been good as gold.
came down Wednesday and Thursday, so we've been drinking for a long time. Built it myself, yeah, I've had it six years. But, um, no, it's 335 mile did down here on it. So and you rode it? Yeah, yeah. Very sore afterwards. <laughs> it has a little bit of suspension. Yeah, it don't do much. No? No. Not very functional? No, nah, not really. Are brakes functional? Brakes work. It, it runs and rides awesome. It's his first kick shovel head, so it just does everything it shows. Do you ride it a lot? Um, not as much as I should. How did you get into biking? Uh, we're up with bikes. My dad said choppers all his life. Uh, well, choppers, Harleys. My granddad had Harleys. So um, it was my first bike were an Harley, so it's, it's just how it's gone on. next to this absolutely beautiful thing. Uh, this is mine. Oh, I love it. I love it. Can you introduce yourself, please? Uh, my name's Josh Carr. Uh, I'm from Northeast of uh, England, obviously. Um, yeah, and this is my 1200 Sporting, built by Lloyd. Is it pretty reliable? Uh, nah, <laughs> it is now. I had loads of issues with it when I first bought it. I blew like, the heads like three times, and then I got it sorted out, eventually got it properly machined, and all uh, everything done properly. Uh, I've just had this done as well. Uh, the tank I've just had done uh, by my tattoo artist Alex Beige. Uh, he paint, hand painted it all for me. It's the first tank he's ever done. I've got it in a like, number eight. It's all based off like tattoos that I've got. Um, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I've got like a snake on my back and little things, uh, peonies and stuff. It's not the best bike in the world, not when you're like next to something like this or some of the other like really sought after stuff. But, Another question about the boss. Yeah. Uh, how high? <laughs> I think I think they're 18s. I don't think anyone else has got any bigger ones here. Um, exactly. 
but I like them. I mean, I'm lanky. I've got long arms, <laughs> yeah. and I'm I'm, uh, I'm used to it. with my job. I'll keep you my hands up all day. No, they're fine. They're really comfy. I think uh, suits me anyway for being long and lanky. So yeah, I, I like them. Something a little bit different as well, isn't it? So it's not that bad, is it? It, it, it looks very high. Yeah, when it you looks sit high, but it. like once you're there, I think the way like because you dropped in quite a lot. It's yeah, the turning when you're trying to move it around a bit, it's a little bit awkward, but. I don't, I don't think it's too bad. Yeah, yeah, definitely you get used to it, yeah, for sure. Amazing, thank no you worries. so Thank much. you very much. It looks more official than it is. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Can you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, I'm Dean uh, from Leeds, West Yorkshire. Did you build it? Yeah, started out as a standard FLH. Just wanted to make it something a bit chunky and a little bit different. So I prefer sort of Jap style bobbers and shiny ones and all nice and painted. Paint, I did paint myself. That's a wood, like a wood veneer on the back. Uh, it's just rough and ready, loud, aggressive, and got a bit of a kick to it. Did you came up with this? They're from a kid that I was talking to in Cincinnati. You can get them in the UK and stuff, but the kid who I was talking to at Velocity, he was just like, these are good, this is a good setup. So I said I'll take a punt and run with it. So you bought it as an all front end? Just this front end here. Mm -hmm. Bars I've cut down, changed and what have you myself, little bracketry and everything else, but just this complete front end here. Does it work? It does work, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can adjust them as well, that's why that bar's a bit further through at back. Uh -huh. So it just gives me a bit more tension because when it's, when it's right forward, it's more springy. Do you build a lot of choppers? No, not really, no. I mean, the, the lads that we ride with last week of July, lads, between us, you might get 10, 12 chops a year out of group. So, yeah, it's, it's usually build one over winter, ride it through the summer, get rid of it. Build one over winter, ride it through the summer, get rid of it, do that again. It is a group of how many people? Oh, there's about 15 of us. 15 of yeah. you, yeah. and you all meet somewhere yeah. and build choppers. Yeah. May I come in winter? Yeah, yeah. Of course you come, yeah. Yeah, you're more hey. than welcome, yeah. Yeah, that's that's last week of July bike. That's the last week of July bike. That's the last week of July bike. So is that one. So is that one. Uh, yeah, there's a few. 
That big chop over there, that's another one. Mm. This one behind you with leopard print on. So quite quite a, quite yeah. a big percentage, 25% of our bikes here yeah, is built yeah. by your group. Yeah, pretty much. 15 choppers builders. Yeah. We are meeting in winter. Do you meet on the weekends mostly? Yeah, yeah, like we'll go out on a weekend for a ride or we'll go wild camp for night somewhere, just pitch a tent up and stay there for a night and then ride up next day and then do it again a few weeks later. Oh, great, great. I can't wait to visit. No, you're more than welcome. You are a part of this group of 15 people who yep. are meeting during the winter yep. and the outcome is 10 bikes, means five of them doing nothing at all. So are you one of the 10 or one of the five? 10. Okay, yeah. so you actually put hands on. What, to make the bike? Yes. Um, not as practical. I Lloyd does the building. I try and get involved. Mainly I get in the way. Um, Sounds just like me. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sounds just <laughs> like me. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I'm not really good. Um, I'm a tattoo artist, so I don't... My mechanical knowledge is real small. Um, recently, I've started uh, engraving, um, trying to bring what I can bring to the table, which is, it feels small, but <laughs> it's, it's a starting point. At the moment, all I can do is tattoo the guys. Um, I just wanted to bring something to the bikes more. Um, like I say, my mechanical knowledge is really poor. Um, no confidence. I'd rather Lloyd get it so I know I wasn't going like, to fuck it up. <laughs> um, yeah. But this one is yours? Yeah. Did you just have it freshly finished a couple of weeks ago like everyone else? or it's No, like no, no. It's been um, over, over a year. I had a little crash into a car last week. So we've had the new springers and a different bar set up. Before I had, um, I've got two inch more fork now. Um, and about three inch less rise on the bars. So the, the setup feels a little bit strange, um, a lot more aggressive. Um, and the new seat as well. Uh, Lloyd built the seat and his dad hand covered it, which was cool. So I've got a piece made by both Lloyd and his dad. 